Outside the western entrance to the Mahaney Center for the Arts, you will encounter the site-specific So Inclined, constructed by artist Patrick Doherty, with the help of paid assistance and volunteers during September 2007, when he was an artist in residence. His presence on campus and this work were sponsored by the 1% for Art Fund, administered by the Committee on Art and Public Places. Unlike other works on campus that are expected to be permanent, maybe even eternal, this grouping, which occupies an interstice between sculpture and architecture, is unapologetically and intentionally temporary. Woven from branches of local silver maple and gray dogwood trees, these structures were composed on site and then anchored into place. The artist described his goals straightforwardly, saying, the success of a piece lies in capturing the essence of a place and then playing with what you make of that essence. Doherty's procedure doesn't vary. He visits a site and assesses its possibilities. When he returns to execute a work, he brings a design that seems appropriate to the setting and environment. He prizes interaction with his patrons, assistants, and passers-by. He first sketches an armature of saplings from a local source, establishing size and shape of the final work. Then comes actual construction, which involves multiple aesthetic decisions, followed by cosmetic finishing. The intended life of one of his installations is approximately two years but some have lasted much longer. Middlebury's work invites a host of elusive descriptions. This cluster of leaning conical structures, some of which clearly beckon visitors to enter, might be the abode of a coven of happy witches or the playhouse for a precocious group of children with exceptional weaving skills. The overall effect appears effortless, as Doherty always intends it should, suggesting that the work fell, grew, or blew into place, rather than having been constructed according to a rational, intentional process. He greatly admires hives, nests, cocoons, and layers constructed by animals, and analogous works created by humans, haystacks, huts, and baskets. Like such structures, his woven works temporarily enhance and delight only to decay and be recycled according to the laws and procedures of nature.